Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews, and this is just a kind of general state of the channel and state of the Gundam update, because there's a bunch of stuff going on, and I felt like talking about some of it. Uh, first and foremost, thank you so much to Kiblo, who bought a copy of Gundam UC for the PlayStation 3 off of my Amazon wishlist, so... Many thanks. I'm going to figure out a time and a place to get that in the recording schedule. I might start alternating weeks of that in side stories. I don't know. But that should be a party because I still have not watched all of Gundam UC. I watched like the first couple of OAVs and then just never finished it. So I'm going to have less than no clue of what's going on. So that, that could be entertaining. I hope it's going to be entertaining, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, two other things. Uh, first off, I did try and sign up for the Gundam Battle Operation 2 closed beta. I have no idea if I got in or not, but I think we will find out probably from what they were saying around Valentine's Day. So, here's hoping. Here's hoping anybody who uh, went and applied for it got in. If you go to the Battle Operation 2 official website... You can find a link to the PlayStation Store page for Battle Operation 2. You have to use a Japanese, uh, Chinese, or Taiwanese account, I believe, to do it right now. I went with my Japanese account. I did it through the PS4. If you're doing it through the PS4 and you can't type in Katakana, what you have to do is search for 2, the number 2, and scroll down a lot. But I got in... Well, I got it in my cart we'll see if i got in but and once you once you put it in your cart and hit everything the entry totally disappears from playstation store on your ps4 and i can't see it again so that is weird but we'll see if it actually lets me do anything later in this month um even if i get in i don't know if i'm going to publish footage because it's probably a closed beta and i do not want copyright strikes against my channel so I may record and bank things for once the go-ahead is given, or I may not record it at all and just come back and give you guys some impressions. But we will see how that goes. Uh, lastly, I did check out the pilot episode that is up on Gundam Info now for Gundam Build Divers, which is going to be this year's Gundam Build Fighters series. It's hard to say if it's actually part of the uh, Build Fighters continuity, or if it's something new, but the technology has changed so that rather than, you know, magic particles animating your gunpla, you are now diving, hence the name, into a virtual reality simulation. Um, as someone pointed out, what we see in the pilot is people getting into a simulation of a cockpit to pilot a simulation of a robot while people sit in a simulation of a stadium to watch the fight, which all just seems kind of silly. But, I mean, somehow it seems like it's more realistic, but at the same time more of a conceit. I mean, magic particles, there are always magic particles in Gundam, so, you know, big whoop on that with build fighters. But we'll see how the show turns out. I have a feeling that the VR thing is to bring it more in line with the Gundam Breaker. I I think it I don't think it's a coincidence that they have changed uh new Gundam Breaker and the setup of the build fighters, build divers world at the same time. So maybe if we're lucky they'll actually try and like run this here in some capacity. All I know is that it's a Gundam series where you can watch uh, Talking Dogs pilot a... Uh, man, what was that? I think it was a Genus Custom. It was some kind of Gundam X mobile suit, I remember that. But it was a decent enough pilot. We'll see if the characters are interesting. I hope it veers more towards Build Fighters and Build Fighters Try. I didn't mind that, but in the words of Bruce Wayne, it was just so high school. And that is... That's not a kind of anime I've ever really been into, the whole high school sitcom-y deal. So, not my cuppa. Not compared to the original Build Fighters, anyway. But that's the general shape of things at the moment. I have some 
new information on both Gundam Battle Operation 2 and new Gundam Breaker that uh, Lord Antonius clued me into, but I've got my comments on those as part of this week's first two Gundam Side Stories videos, so I'm going to leave it at that on those. So that's going to do it for today. Hope we will be back with more soon. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!